Hello and welcome to part 9 of starting a fountain pen collection. Um, in this episode I wanted to give you an update on some of the the inks I have accumulated over the last couple of uh, months uh, and just to show you uh, some of the inks that I'm testing currently. Um, uh, as you can see I have a high, a high number range of uh, from Herban uh, they have a good range of colors so I wanted to test uh, instead of one of each brand uh, just to get a good feel of a uh, uh, per maker uh, uh, what sort of inks uh, people are offering so here we have a uh, Herban here we have some uh, Diamine inks so Monica Red and uh, also in red uh, the Matador uh, in red also Oxblood, so also to see the different variations between the reds. I have two blues from Diamond, Oxford Blue and Blue Velvet, and I have two greens. Uh, one is called the Green Black, and the other one is uh, Sherwood Green. At the back here, I have uh, two bottles of uh, Waterman ink. Uh, uh, I will add some red, green, and blue Watermans uh, at a later stage. Uh, at the back here, I have uh, Visconti ink. Uh, this is the Bordeaux blue and the, the Verde which is a, a green so I will put that into a test uh, uh, I think in this episode I will test out some Herban ink uh, again just to kind of see uh, what the differences are uh, we'll cut into a time lapse now so I'll hopefully talk to you in a second And here it is, uh, this is uh, using the Herban Olive, which is uh, the green, so it can shows you a good shade of uh, green for my leaves here, and then I also, for the trees, well, uh, I have brown from the Waterman, and also uh, this blue part here, I'm using Herban Diablo Mentha, which is the light blue, um, quite liking this uh, ink the more I use it also tried it on some text so you can see also what it looks like when it's on paper um, it's very light but um, you know it's it's just it's just a nice soft touch um, uh, on your writing if you if you like that uh, if you uh, on your journals it, it's not so harsh um, so uh, it depends on the mood that I'm in on the day, but uh, certainly when I, when I'm reading some of the writing, it uh, uh, I feel nice and calm and relaxed. So I will show you a few more here. Is one? It's made with a not with a brush, but a lot of uh, smearing of the. Uh, the ink itself uh, just to show you also you know what the shade of the color looks like here I started to use with uh, a fine fountain pen but then I started to smear the ink on uh, to show you the depth of the color it adds as well so here I did the same thing so I started to smear the uh, uh, majority of this uh, area here and then I just finished off with the same ink uh, with a fine pen so you can see you know you know how the, how the color runs and this is uh, the purple is uh, with a uh, uh, with a waterman so it's the tender purple and 
the green is the urban uh, vert empire I believe and I think this is the pre I'm not too sure but I have to check on that I think it may be the vert pre on that one so I'll show you one more here I did the same thing again so same picture uh, brown is looking uh, a lot lighter than the waterman uh, brown this is the herban terror the foo and this is the blue I've is also very light it's almost nothing you can almost barely see it on the paper it's a uh, blue azure so this is a lot lighter than uh, the blue I just uh, shown you with the Diablo so I much prefer the Diablo over this blue ink uh, this is uh, an orange ink from Herban, so orange Indian, it's called I think. And the pink or purple, I think it's pink more closely. It's the rose, uh, ten dress I think from uh, Herban. So this is uh, showing you uh, uh, the good range of colours, and I'm quite liking the 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 striking orange in this uh, picture here. In in the next episode, I will be uh, uh, showing more tests, uh, also a mixture of uh, writing text. So, I mean, a lot of people uh, uh, will need to use the pen f and the inks for uh, daily writing rather than uh, illustrations. So, uh, I will uh, cut into a, uh, a more of a writing uh, comparison, uh, and also on different paper as well. So, I'll be using uh, uh, Moleskine. Rodia, Clairefontaine, uh, some budget brands, some printer papers, you know, just to kind of mix it up and, and show what the ink uh, looks like on, uh, on different papers. So hopefully to catch you next time. Thank you for watching.